Yo, what up, what up? What up? We finally back. This <laughs> <laughs> is the Wrap Up Podcast. We ain't dead yet. <laughs> the boys are back in town. <laughs> we we back in town, town baby. It's, it's the Wrap Up Podcast. As after the longest hiatus ever. That, true, true, true. Hey, but, How yo, you feeling, brother? You got to let them know why we on a hiatus, though, man. Oh, <laughs> it's so, a bunch of things. So it's, it's, it's not really nobody's fault. You know, <laughs> you prepping for nuptials. So, yeah. so that, you know. Yeah, that, that, that takes a lot of it. That, that's that takes a, that's a lot of it. Right there. And also... You got a new endeavor. Shout out real quick. Shout out. I real do. Quick. Shameless go, plug. Go ahead and tag it. Tag it. Shameless plug. <laughs> okay, yeah, so a bunch is going on. I am getting married. Um, so dealing with that, planning stuff, and, and just trying to get all of the kinks and scheduling worked out. I also started up my new business venture, uh, Casso Kicks. So uh, yeah, we got we got sneakers, we got apparel, we got uh, shirts and hats and hoodies and all that good stuff on the way, man. So we are all of our social media is at Casso K A S O L E K I C K S. Um, so man, that's something I'm I'm very happy about, very proud no that doubt, I no doubt get that off the ground. So that's. That's what's taking up a lot of my time. <laughs> no doubt. You know, that's respect, man. You know, I understand, man. So I didn't, I didn't push you. You know, I've, I've made it. You know, we, we yeah. worked out when we can work it out, man. We definitely did, man. And I, hey, the, like I said, the wrap up ain't dead, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, for yeah. people, but, but for those that don't know, you know, this is the wrap up podcast. I'm Stefan. The light skinned brother is fresh. <laughs> You know what I mean? We Fresh the light skin one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what episode this is. What is this? Thirty six. It might be. I think we still. That sounds, in the, that sounds right. Yo, we've been off for a minute. We what? have, man. It sucks the fact that we've been out there long. I think the last one we did was the end of the year. Um, yeah. The year, uh, wrap up, right? Yep. With yep. That was so it. Three months. Three, three months. months. But we back. And we, we back. Were, but but we've been in contact though, so we wasn't like off the end of the yeah, earth. That's the so great thing. Point. It's like, yo, it's been it's been so much that didn't happen, so much that went on, man. I, I I guess we don't have to go back through everything, but 2020 has been crazy. Nah. 2020 has been a crazy year. Right now we're dealing with uh the pandemic, the Rona, coronavirus, nah. COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. It's it's absolutely taking the world off kilter right now. Um, home confinement is crazy, man. And you know, <laughs> I'm a whole body dude. I'm on day ten, I think, of being in the house straight up. Yo, I'm about to flip yeah. my lid, man. I'm about to no. It's up. like, man, I gotta get out and do something. And then I, I hate going to the grocery store, but that's like the only place we could go is the grocery Absolutely. store. Absolutely, I can't stand it. That's the first place I went Saturday. I went to the grocery store. I hate the grocery store, man. I went in the grocery store the other day. I'm trying to get some some seasoning or whatever. I'm like, um, excuse me, ma'am, where, where's your seasoning? Where where are your spices? Yeah. She was like, between aisle three and aisle six. Like, <laughs> lady, you work here. You don't know. <laughs> between. I said, this, somewhere in between aisle three and aisle six. Like, lady, it's a mall you, seven and eight. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, man. Man. Diego, I got to go search for it myself. Yeah, so I mean, killing me. The fact that the grocery store is the only place that we can go, and I hate the grocery store is it's not doing nothing for me, man. It's rough out here. I, hear it that. Is, I can't get no haircut. You see, I'm all scruffy as hell. It's, we, it's rough. We both, man. You know, I normally don't grab a hat, but I had to get a lid, man. I got the George Jefferson. My roof me is off. <laughs> <laughs> the roof is hey, off. I'm, I'm having a whole afro under here, bro. <laughs> Ugly. Man, it's I saw crazy your videos, man, dying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's dying, another man. thing I got to do to pass the time. I'm out, I'm out here making coronavirus quarantine videos, man. For real, man. But yeah, there's a it's lot of stuff new. going on, man. We got um, we got Trump sitting up here. Instead of talking about the virus, he's talking about the ratings. Of course, your ratings gonna be hot, dude. What are you talking about? Right, it's a pandemic. About? Of course, everybody watching TV. Wilding out. 
He talking to you. He acting like it was entertainment. No, we concerned. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You chill to the left. Put the doctor on and let's see what he's talking about, man. You, you Exactly. Talk. Like, you ain't even qualified to speak on this. <laughs> what the doctor got to say? We didn't tune in for you. <laughs> for real, absolutely. But that's, that's what my man thinking, though. He gave y'all $1,200 yeah. and like, yo, listen to me. Yeah, that's, oh, man. That's going to get him another term. Probably. I hate to Probably. say it, but that's another term. He going to spend this whole thing as if um, I acted quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I did what I was supposed to do. Not only did I do that, I helped stimulate the economy. Everybody bounced back, and it's all thanks to me. He's going to pat himself on the back, and he's going to get another four years. Especially if he keeps the death rate low. If the death rate oh, yeah. doesn't reach what South Korea um, met, yeah, he'll be back in there. Yeah, he'll yeah. Be back in there. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's tough to say, but, I mean, I think that's the world we're living in right now. Is yeah. They're going to be driven off of what he proposes these results are, and, I can see him getting another four years. I hope I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, I think I'm right. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm right. This is America, yeah. man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely taking the world by storm. There's so many people who are scared and, and worried and sick. So, um, you know, it's a lot of jokes going on, and, you know, even myself included, but mm -hmm. it's, it's something to be taken lightly. I definitely recommend everybody stay at in the house. I mean, because this stuff is is definitely going around. It's running rampant and it's it's killing people. So it's that should tell you right there that it's nothing to be played with. I just found oh. out that uh, yesterday it stays on your shoes for five days. You got to spray your shoes down when you get in the crib. They say spray it with alcohol. The soles of your shoes. And the top, and you know us, we have sneakerheads. We can't spray the top of our shoes with no alcohol without us knowing, you know, what, right. the, what the fact. Right, it's like, is this color safe fabric? <laughs> what the fact? Like, I don't know, it's going to get my new bug. My new bug going to get to running. <laughs> Real, man, but I didn't know about that. Say for five days, if you go anywhere and come in uh, the shoe sole or whatever, come in contact with it, five days, it's, it's, that's a long time, man. That is, that's crazy. That's a long time. And I touch my clothes every day because I keep my shoe boxes. So, you know, I'm right. going to come in contact with the soul, man. Just got to make yeah. sure you wash your hands and don't touch your face, man. That's wild. Man. They never wash my and hands that much. Yeah, right. My hands are all chafed and, and, and ashy. Dry, <laughs> itch, itching. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's like usually they say when your hand get the itch, you you supposed to be getting some money. It's uh, like that's it's that twelve hundred check that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stimulus check that's coming for real. Uh, yeah, man, but the the coronavirus is is very serious. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any you know memes and videos and and all of that, but it's definitely something to be taken serious. I hope people is out here staying safe. Um, is. I ain't never seen nothing like this. So it's it's just weird no, to not at all, man. And just to think like, you know, a couple of years from now, this is gonna be in, you know, study books and in, in, in yeah. history classes about, you know, this is something that we, we're living through history right now. And it's it's kind of surreal when you take a step back and kind of look at the things that you're going through and, and the way that's it's affecting your life, your families, the rest of the world. It's um it's strange, man. It's strange to be going through in the moment. Sometimes. Go ahead. It's one of those things that um, when you think about it in retrospect, everyone that you've done wrong or done harm, you try to, you're trying to get close to those individuals or those people, even family, but you're not able to because you have to be in your own bunker. You got to be in your, yeah. own, in your own squad. So whatever you believe in, make sure you write with that individual. My belief is God. <laughs> yeah. So make sure everything gets squared away because the way this is wrapping yeah. up, if you look outside, yeah. I looked outside yesterday and the clouds, I do, I kid you not, felt like I could touch them. I mean, look like I could touch them, man. That's how yeah. low it was, man. So, hey, well, whatever's going, it's, it's time, it's time to get right, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> get, right with, get right with your God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no doubt, man. For real. Uh, it's scary. It's scary for real, man. I mean, it's I I joke about it all the time, but I I 
I'm still taking this very serious because tornadoes, earthquakes in the land, the in Africa. It's a lot yeah, of stuff going it's, on, man. It's crazy, man. And it's affecting and impacting everything and everyone. I mean, it's uprooting people's lives. People have lost their jobs. Some people is on furlough. Some people can't make yeah. ends because of everything that's going on. So it's 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 nuts right now. Mm -hmm. And stress to people enough just to, you know, definitely make sure you're maintaining your health. Stay healthy. Stay indoors. Make sure you're checking on your peoples. That's right. Uh, because that's that's the only thing you can do. It's a it's a tad bit of a, a feeling of helplessness mm -hmm. because it's, other than the things that I just said, there's no other way to prepare for this, you know. And you just it, it's now you you starting to get mindful of the people who come in your house and they be like, hold on, for real, man, we can't handle company today. <laughs> for real, <laughs> it's just like, oh man, but I'm always over here. Not today. I can't come outside. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, it's lot, nuts. Man. But on a lighter I, note, man, what you you go ahead and finish? No, I was I was about to say it's it's hard to find stuff to do. Like just that's where I was going. Yeah, your regular everyday thing. The fact that it completely shut down the sports world. Oh is, my goodness, man! I'm feeling for crazy. baseball right now. You know how I love the sport. Man. I'm feeling for baseball right you, now. You got your cubby blue on. Man. I see you. I feel That's the you. only lid I wear. If it's not a Nike lid, it's gonna be a cubby. <laughs> That's the only lid I wear, man. Only man, lid. Yeah, it's it's rough. You know, basketball was uh was winding uh you know into the second season. We was getting yeah. ready for the playoffs. The playoff picture was starting to shape up. Uh, you know, we had um the combine for football. You know, we still got the draft coming up. Mm -hmm. Basically, we get a chance to to really kick off spring training. Well, spring training was underway, but yeah, it was March Madness. Brief March Madness. Oh my Madness. god, March Madness. My team was number one in the country. They were. Mine was twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was so excited to see Illinois back in the uh, back. Man. In the and then dreams crushed. Man, I read today that um, at least one thing the NCAA is doing that's dope. Um, I wish they could have did it but a win for the winter athletes, but I know they couldn't because the season was yeah. kind of over with, but they gave the extra year yeah. eligibility to the spring. Athletes. The spring, yeah. Yeah, and that's dope. I, I think it was good. It would have been – it's tough for basketball, for sure, because you got to understand some people's stock who was going up, like like Io, yeah. for instance. His stock is going up, right? Mm -hmm. He could have, he could have made a play for the NBA based upon how he played in the um, in the tourney, right? And it's a bunch of cats who kind of like own the bubble. Like, man, should I stay? Should I go? And you know, the tourney would have been a place for them to yeah. be able to showcase their talent. So I'm thinking of cats like Mac McClung from. Uh, I'll, I'll yeah, so he he declared. Um, but I think he would have definitely benefited from being yeah. able to an attorney. He didn't get an um, agent though, so that was smart for him because I don't think he'll make it without smart. without a tournament run. He needs maybe one more year. Io needs one more year too. Io needs more one more year for sure. But if he would have went out in that tourney and he would have balled out, yeah. If he would have averaged like 18, 20, 22 points. At least the second round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, and get a couple of wins. He would have mm -hmm. needed a couple of wins under his belt. But that program is definitely turning around. It, yeah. they, they, they headed in the right direction. I mean, but even even cats from more uh, prominent schools, like um, Azabuki from, from Kansas. Um, been there for 10 years, man. He's been there forever, feel right. like. <laughs> he was like, damn, he a senior? This is a year eight? <laughs> I think he, uh, that would have helped his draft stock. I mean, he, um, he, I think he'll, he's, he is still going to go, and I think he will, but this, it would have helped his draft stock. Um, what's but, the, it, but, um, it, but, it, but it does help the flash in the pan cats, like dude from Dayton. It helps him a lot yeah. because there's nothing else you can uh, do. Topin. Topin. Yeah, Topin, yeah, Topin. It helps him a lot. It helps the, um, uh, even though we got tape on uh, Lyles, it kind of helps him a lot because he ended the season, you know, kind of yeah. playing good with dude. So it helps a lot of cats out too. Right. Yeah, it's 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 a catch twenty two for some yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I just wish we would have got it, man. I wish we would have we would have had a chance to see the tourney, but obviously, it, it makes sense that we didn't. Yeah, 
know it's big when it stops the Olympics. Like, For real. You know, push the Olympics back. The Olympics is a billion dollar industry. Billions, I should say. Yeah. Multiple. And it stopped it. And pushed it back to, you know, 2021. So that's that's huge. So the sports world is devastated. Uh, we've been watching reruns and highlights of everything. Man, I don't see <laughs> that's all, that's all we got right now. <laughs> that's all we got right now is reruns and highlights of, of every sport. I don't ran out of Netflix. Netflix is over with. I've seen everything on Netflix, man. You're not everything. watching Ozark? I've seen it. You watch you watched all of season three already? No, I didn't finish season three. No, no, no. I didn't finish oh, okay. season three. I did one and two, and I started three okay. after I finished um Tiger King. I okay. Was- I've not watched Tiger King yet, man. Tiger King, it just it looks so wild. Everybody's talking about it though. Is it worth watching? Yeah, and, and and I got on it before the wave came last week, middle last part of okay. last week, because I heard yeah. about it from um, ESPN, ESPN Radio, because I was driving home from work, and they was talking about what you need to watch while you're out, and I was like, let me see what these dudes are talking about, and mine was blown. It's 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 good. There's a lot of intricacies there. Right. Man. It's, it's good. I was thinking, I was like, man, I'm not finna watch this, dog. But everybody talking about it, and it's like, I Dude. feel like kind of obligated to, but I still really don't want to watch it. Don't feel obligated, but when you watch it, you're going to be like, I, I, I need all 10 of these episodes. I have to break mine down in like three days because it's too much. It's too intense. It's 10 episodes? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I might give it a chance. I don't know, man. Right you gotta, now, I'm... You got to rock it, man. I'm, I'm immersed in Ozark right now. Yeah. So... Bird, Mighty Bird is my man's. Uh, that's <laughs> Ozark. I'm watching Ozark right now. But um, it's is the only, other than Ozark, I cannot wait for um this Bulls MJ documentary. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad, glad they pushed that up. They pushed it up for us, man. They said we heard you. Yeah, give you what you want. Yeah, <laughs> like yes, thank you. That's what next Sunday or two Sundays from now. Two. Two yeah, Sundays from, April, oh, I can't wait, man. April 19th. Man, listen, I am so ready to see. I mean, any any unseen footage from yeah. Mike and the Bulls is what I need in my life, you know, because that's, that's all we got right For now. For real. And that, that was the best run, man. That was the best run of the three peaks, man. For sure. For sure. I mean, but I've been going back watching everything, man. His 63 point. Yeah. Uh, in the garden, the 69 point game against the Cavs. Came on other night. Yeah, the double nickel game uh, uh, yep. in, in Madison Square Garden. And it's like, man. I get pissed off every time I watch that game because I was a short. I think I was like 13, 12 when that um, game came out. So I'm getting ready to watch it. This might, what, second, third game back in the garden. Yeah. Next, 45. Put your clothes on. We're about to go to Bible class. We about to go where? <laughs> well, this was back in the day. It wasn't no DVR, so I had to go find a tape, find yeah. a tape that I can record over, record right. it, then hope I don't hear the score <laughs> on the way home, man. I was talking to my right. brother. Like, he said the same thing happened to him, man. Oh, uh, man. Had to record it over like Forrest Gump. Man, there's <laughs> Ninja Turtle cartoons, man. There you go. <laughs> I, I was sick. She's like, get your coat. We're going to Bible class. Then Mike bust 55. Against Man, the six. crazy. Yo, that was nuts. And then the pass at the end? Yeah. He broke He broke John Starks off something. <laughs> Hit him across right at the top. <laughs> I was watching that game, but I was thinking about, you know, when he came back, he didn't have the speed. Of course, he didn't have the lift. Yeah, and we know that he was working on the turnaround during the summer or whenever he was about to come back. I wonder. Yeah. Well, it's probably true. That was his move because he didn't have anything else that he was able to do. He wasn't quicker than the players that was playing until he got his timing and his feet together. Yeah, but the turnaround in the post for him, that's like uh, Kareem Skyhook, man. Yeah, and it took him. It took him a while too. Yeah, it, he wasn't him there. He wasn't uh, there to, to get it. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, even still, uh, he he did his thing during the 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 Knicks game. Yeah. But let's be honest, he he was still a, a little rusty after that. 
like I say it took him like a good six, seven games to for him to really start getting yeah. back to in his groove and, and, and really starting to feel itself. I think that Atlanta game when he hit the buzzer uh, shot was one he was like, Yeah, yeah. I think I hit that yeah. now. and he did the little that's when that's when he was like, Okay, I'm I'm feeling it. I got it back. I think I know what I'm doing out here now. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. When, when he did that, I think that that definitely set him back. Uh that, that set him back up for for the greatness that we was used to. So I'm with you, man. I'm definitely ready for that. That's gonna be phenomenal. Um and it's what, ten episodes for how many for five yeah. nights? Ten no, episodes, five, five nights. Five nights, two episodes a night, right? Right, right, yeah. Ten episodes in total, yeah. right. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna air over the course of five nights. Oh, I can't wait, man. Like that. The fact that we getting two episodes uh a night is gonna be good because it's like, man, you can't just give me an hour. You gotta give me a couple. I need all of this. Because <laughs> at first I thought each episode was two hours. That's what I thought it was at first. Each episode was two hours. So I don't I know wish. how they got it, man. However, they, however way they got it, just give it to me. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be an hour. I think it's an hour per episode mm. is how they broke it down. But um, I, like you said, however they give it to me, I just know I'm ready. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to see any new footage or any unseen footage from Mike and the rest of the crew. Because, mm. I mean... The, the tenacity that they came in with every single season was ridiculous. It's off the charts. But you also got to think about it like this. is like they was used to winning. Yeah. So how do you continue to just muster up the effort and say, okay, let's go out here and do this again like you haven't done it already. Mm-hmm. You know, the greatest team already. And they still found a way to, to, to put it all together, man. That's – that's the best part for me. So I'm I'm definitely excited for this. I'm ready. Same ever, man. I know we got the Golden State and the uh yeah. the, the Miami Heats, the uh the Lakers. The Lakers. Squad. We got the Bulls yeah. squad. But it's something about that Bulls squad that I, maybe maybe we're being biased. But of it's, course. But it's something you know. about <laughs> it's something about that Bulls squad that's just man, Rodman. They they, they really looked and felt unbeatable. First yeah. of all, you had greatest player to ever touch a basketball on the yep. team. But then you look at all of the pieces that were around him and the way that they fed off of his energy and the way that he played. I mean, even down to the role players and the way that they stepped up throughout the season. Because Mike didn't do it alone. You know, it was plenty of times throughout the season where where Scotty came through and he did his thing. Rodman was instrumental. You can't forget about Tony. Yeah. The, 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 the Croatian sensation. Yep. He was out Bussing, man. I mean, that dude was a monster. And they all had some point of the season when they was hurt, but they played through it. Kuko yeah. had the uh, the back. Uh, Pippen yeah. had the back. Jordan had the and then the headaches. Yep. Yeah, it was it was a lot, man. And then you was dealing with um, Dennis Rodman on top of all of that. His crazy on top of all that. the suspensions, uh, the the unnecessary outbursts, and all of that. You know, Rodman was Rodman was who he was, but. One thing that he did almost better than anybody else in that era is he never played outside of his game. I agree. Exactly what he was on the court to do, and he executed to perfection every single time. I agree. I'm defense, I'm rebound, I'm hustle, I'm heart and grit, and you're not going to – you're not going to outmuscle me. You're not going to have more heart than me. You're not going to bring more. Ashton than I am. And nobody ever did. Nobody ever did. And then with all that, the lack of talent, he bought the, the wisdom to tip the ball to yeah. him playing against Shaq. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, ball IQ. He don't get enough credit. He does not get enough credit for his basketball IQ. And he was undersized at that. Yep. For somebody to be so undersized and still put up the numbers that he did, the only, the only other guy who I can really think of who like played out of his size realm and still was as effective as Charles Barkley. Yeah. Charles Barkley, like six five, a legit six, well, six and, four, and maybe maybe so. And, but he, the the way that he dominated on the inside was ridiculous against six ten and seven footers. And the same thing with with Rodman, man. He just wanted it more. So he was he fit right in. Mm-hmm. They didn't think that he would, or they weren't sure how it was gonna fit. But he came. He came over to Chicago and he fit right in, man. It was. I didn't crazy. have any expectations. It was like 
Here's Rodman. We knew he was the rebound king, but it's like yeah. he, he wasn't something that he wasn't intangible, but it was like eh, we gave up Will Purdue for him. You know, it was like you Yeah, know? it was like, okay, we lost Will Purdue. Okay, yeah. so what? Yeah. And then he came yeah. over here, we was like, dang, we definitely won this. <laughs> <laughs> like this is a steal. <laughs> for real. For real, no doubt, man. Yeah, dog, it was it was crazy. So that is very very high on my list. I cannot wait for that. That's gonna be big. But um, what about music, man? What you what you been listening to? What you oh, been tuning man. in? The last thing, well, you know me, I kind of go through modes. I've been on a um a Bobby Brown mode. I don't know why, but I've been on a Bobby. Mode. Okay, Bobby that's your prerogative. Brown, <laughs> it's right, man. A Bobby Brown mode, and I've been on a um. On the Cold Train Miles Davis mode, so I haven't really checked any new. I know you yeah. sent me the uh, the Jordan Lucas. I haven't checked it out yet. I haven't even checked out Jada. I checked out a couple of uh, tracks on his album. I didn't check out uh, somebody else. You sent me. I didn't even check out, man. Uh, I, I did send one other. Who else was it? Oh, Santana, Joel Santana. That's what it is. I didn't. I didn't check out the uh, Santana, but I did check out. Uh, and I think I texted you this, um, Janae Aiko. I checked that out hard. Dope album. Shorty got one of the best depressed music makers of all time, man. <laughs> she has a gift. A yeah, gift she is. Yeah. Man. And yeah, I see, somebody that, else that is a very, very good album. Yeah. So you you name most of them. Um, Janae Aiko's album was dope. G Herbo. Herbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very dope album. I'm very proud. I'm proud of Herbo, man. He put yeah. on for the scene. Um, I definitely like the fact that um, I definitely like the fact that uh, he sounded more polished. I thought uh, he did a good job with the album. The production was dope. The lyrics was there. The message was there. Okay. Uh, it didn't get rushed or just put together. The features was dope. Uh, so G Herbo album was uh, was Pretty fresh. Solid. It was solid. Yeah, yeah. That Jordan was my Lewis, first. That was my first uh, venture into Herbo. I've never, I heard Herbo, but I never listened to a project. And I was surprised. You told me it was different from everything else, but this yeah. one, I, I was surprised. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. For sure. This, this is my favorite project of his. Humble uh, Beast was dope, but uh, this is definitely, this number one for me right now. Um, Joyner Lucas' album is dope. Definitely make sure you check that out. That one is the I think that just dropped just this past weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, well, his album is pretty dope. Joel Santana album, eh? The production is nice. Uh, is it but it's, uh, some of them. I, I don't think it's all heat makers, but they he it definitely got uh, some heat makers on there. Um, Jada's album is straight. Jada's album is decent. Not super crazy dope. It is. It is what it is. You know, yeah. it's Jada. Yeah. Not. It's not your socks off but it's a nice solid album um so yeah man those are the main things that i'm listening to right now um the music has been hit or miss kind of spotty nothing nothing that's really that's just really blown me away so far this year mm -hmm. besides janae aiko's album her her album is probably the best I've heard so far and um speaking of music though today is the one year anniversary of nipsey absolutely that, man see i'm saying that came around quick i was i was um i was you know we working from home so i'm doing a report and i had the tv on and i'm just going through the stations and um i stopped that revolt because i saw the best of nips that's like oh okay i was yeah. like it's, it's today is birthday it did it didn't correlate to me that he passed i don't know why i was thinking year of ago. summer but it, it seemed too quick but yeah yeah one year that one year came around real fast man Real fast. So, I mean, it's that shows you how precious life is, man. And then also about how quickly things just go. The yeah. world never stops for never you. Never stop. So, never so stop. I'm, I'm, I, it really puts into perspective that, man, we want to give people their roses while they're still here. Yep. So, um, yeah, man, shout, shout out to, to, to Nipsey and his family. And I know today is a tough one for them, but we definitely still, uh, you know, Help and live out that legacy. Yeah, the definitely continues. So, uh, yeah, man, the, the fact that it, that one year came around so quick kind of baffled me this morning. I was like, yo, 
it just felt like like man just maybe a few months ago so imagine how quickly it's going to be for kobe you know I, I, I still i still can't really rock i haven't watched any of his games i, I can't do it man it hurts I man i can't do it man I, every you know time, what's, I, like a baby crying can't do it you know what's really hard to watch detail yeah it is it in is. detail it's really hard to watch mm-hmm. just hearing his voice and the way that you know he he's still breaking down the game and and and, and film yeah. and, and and just basketball nuances that's tough yeah it is man that's that's really tough i mean so it's man that's 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 gonna be a really really rough one mm-hmm. um and just to think that you know, it, it don't it if again it feels surreal. Like, man, Kobe, not Kobe. Like that didn't really happen, did it? Yeah. That 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 didn't that didn't occur. This is a bad dream or you know, it's just some 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 bad news. You know, is is it fake news as you, as they like to say nowadays. Yeah. But yeah, that one that one is gonna hit home and it's gonna it's gonna hit here for a minute. Because we're gonna be is- doing the midst of the season. And you, so you know everybody's still gonna be tributing probably. So yeah, yeah, the tributes mm-hmm. gonna be crazy. Yeah, so, man, that's gonna be a tough one when by the time it come around. Yeah, man, thanks for the damper, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my man. Oh man, to be uplifting. Uh, Supposed to do something for the kids. <laughs> That was my man's man, fifty grand. You know, you no. already know that man. That was my man's. Of course, man's, man. of course. But I'm yeah, glad he it, got the love, man. A lot of people that hated on him during his time here in terms of his uh basketball skill, if you will, being Jordan S. I'm glad that yeah. when he did pass, that it started coming around like that's a bad mofo right there, man. That dude gets busy. Yeah. So I was glad that he was able to finally get that that full love and respect and that level of hierarchy that, okay, it's Jordan, Kareem, Will, okay, they up at the top, Russell, but Kobe can be anywhere between 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. So I was glad he got yeah. that. Then all, cause yeah, you know, he, he, got, got he, got the list. he always got the top yeah. 10 end of the list when he was alive, but they bumped him up. When, yeah. Once you start to see the game, you can appreciate the game and the, the focus, the mentality, man. Yeah, and just the competitive drive and the yeah. nature and attack the game man that's unprecedented yeah. like the only other person who i ever seen attack the game like that was mike yeah, yeah. and maybe tom, not, maybe tom brady man i think tom brady got a lot of got a that that's we true. don't know that's about true. we start to know about it now in his, in his elder years if you will yeah he has a yeah. lot of that, that dog in him too that's a very good point that is a very good point i was i, I was in my box my basketball box but yeah. The fact that you brought up Brady, you, you're absolutely right. Brady wants it. He yeah. wants it. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be strange to see him in Tampa Bay, Very. but I'm excited. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see that and see how it plays out. He got some great weapons over there. First time Except, ever. Right. That's what I was about to say. It sounds crazy because he got all of these, all of the jewelry already. But this is gonna be the first time that he has elite level weapons. Mm-hmm. Elite level weapons. He has a certified elite receiver in Mike Evans. And then Chris Godwin is still a very good up and coming receiver. Up and coming. Obviously last year was his breakout year. He got um, a Hernandez and a Grunt for tight ends. Yeah. He got two good ones. Yeah. He got two really good tight ends, man. And, and he has still a, a, a formidable run game. Mm-hmm. This is going to be special. I think this is going to be, um, this is going to be a good year for him. Um, I hope he still got a, a, a little bit in the tank. I saw we saw a little rust. We saw not I ain't gonna rust. We saw a little age. We saw mm-hmm. a little age towards the end of last year. Um, was it hope- age or was it him kind of like tapping out? Like you know what, it's a wrap, man. I'm tired of Bill. You know, I'm tired of all this. I'm gonna still play. I'm gonna still play hard, but it just he didn't look like he was there fully to me. He didn't look like he was there. You might be right. You might be right with that one. It, it it could be a little bit of that because from just from what they say and uh, the some of the things that didn't leaked out, him and Bill was kind of like at each other. 
you know, still a huge amount of admiration and respect there because they know that they know what they built. They built yeah. that Bill and Bill and Tom Brady and, and 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 Robert Kraft. They built that together over there. So, but you can see Bill's point of view, though. You got to move on yeah. at some point, man. You you, you yeah. have to. Yeah, I mean, and and I think they did what was best for both of them. They they moved on at the time they did. I think it was it was it was the best move for the both of them. Um, I think both the I both I think both the Patriots and uh, the Bucks will still be able to thrive off of this or whatever comes of it. It's going to be strange to see somebody else, you know, take a snaps under center uh, yeah. for the. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, it is what it is. It, it it'll be crazy if Cam go over there. I know that's what they're talking about. I think Cam. Cam it, it, I, I, the perfect spot would be um, I'm gonna say San Diego is um the um, L.A. Chargers would be the perfect spot for me, for him for me. See that? I, I can see that. Um, but, but I want Tyrod to fr- uh, flourish. I want to see what Tyrod does with the weapons he has because remember he took Buffalo to the playoffs. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's going to be – um. I don't know, man. Tyrod is – I hate to call him a game manager, but yeah, I know – No, I'm, no, he is. He's a game that's manager. kind of what he is. He, he's he's a, a game-managing quarterback. I think he, he'll go over there and he'll have some not – he'll have some solid weapons mm-hmm. um, because the Chargers – the Chargers got some weapons. They, they, they got heat. Some decent receivers. Um. I wouldn't quite call um, – uh, what's my man's name? The best receiver. What, what is uh, um, Allen. Right now. Keenan Allen, right? Allen, Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen, yeah. I wouldn't say he's elite, but he's very good. He's Allen Robinson. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah, he's, he's Allen Robinson level. I think he's, he's somewhere in between that 15, 25 range. When it comes to receivers, maybe even I, I'll even go 12, 18, 12, 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere around in there. Somewhere around in there. I, 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 he's not a top 10 wide receiver, but he's, he's very good. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, but they got they have some decent weapons. They have a good running game, even uh, with Austin Elker uh, mm-hmm. uh, over there. So I, I think they'll be OK. It just depends on how they mesh with Tyrod. It's, 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 it's a lot to be seen. It's going to be a very interesting and entertaining NFL season whenever it gets back underway. Yeah. It's uh, a lot of moves that got made that, um, that kind of shakes things up. I think it's going to be interesting. It's going to definitely. I agree. Man, I agree. Another thing that I was thinking about, um, in terms of things being interesting for for football, is the move for um, for the Colts the way that that the oh uh, yeah 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 they got they got Philip Rivers mm-hmm. and I, well, I shouldn't even say just the Colts but talking about the AFC South as a whole mm-hmm. who took that over because the Texans lost DeAndre Hopkins DeAndre Hopkins and then. You you send Philip Rivers over there to Indianapolis, and it's mm-hmm. like, does this change the dynamic in the AFC South now? It it, it has to be um it has to be the Colts, man, because who is Watson going to throw it to? Fuller can't stay on the field. Right, he got to stay healthy. You know, he's not a number one. No, he's not. He's not a number one. He's, he's not a number, number game boy. So I'm with him, but nah. <laughs> He's dope, man. He's got he's got the speed. I think he's a decent enough route runner to get separation once he couples that with his speed. Yeah. There is no there's no way you get better by losing an elite, possibly, arguably the best wide receiver in football. I agree. I agree. You know, I I, I to me, I would have to say him and Julio Jones, it's a toss up between those two. If you picked one over the other, I wouldn't be mad. Um, you you can you can easily make a um, argument for both, but you there you can't just trade him and say, "Oh, 
we'll be just as good as we were last year or we'll be better. You can't remove a piece like that and think that you're going to be better than you were last year. And they made a nice – they made a really nice run. You know, because the Texans were a really good team last year. And now – I don't – I'm not going to say that they're, they're out of the playoffs. I think they can still make the playoffs. Wild cards. They, they have to be healthy, um, whether that's Fuller, whether that's J.J. Watt, Deshaun Watson. They need their stars to continue to step up and be healthy. Um, so I think they can still make some noise in that division because, in all honesty, I think the division is pretty soft. Um, who else you got over there? You got Jacksonville. Doug. Uh, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, the Texans, and who else am I missing? Tennessee. Tennessee. So I take that back. They're not soft. Yeah. That's not soft at all. Not Tennessee. <laughs> not Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee, not soft at all. So, I mean, you could, but you can't have three. I don't see three of them. I don't see three of them, all three of them making a playoff. So somebody. Yeah. Tennessee, they uh, they paid Tannehill, they franchise tag Derrick Henry, yeah. so um, the defense still the defense. The defense is still a, a monster. So you you gotta it's it's, it's going to be interesting to try to see how that's all going to play out, um, because Jacksonville definitely is they in full on rebuild mode. They giving up everybody. They selling the house. Yeah. But Indianapolis got better. Um, the Texans, not the Texans, uh, Tennessee pretty much stayed the same. They stayed pat, mm-hmm. but which is good. They didn't have to make moves. The only thing they had to do was resign their guys. They had to resign Tannehill. And they did. That's what they did. They resigned their and guys. And that's what they did. Exactly. They just resigned their guys. And they were they were right there. They were right there uh, in the mix for the championship. Um, so the only people who really got worse – uh, who had a chance anyway, was the Texans. Yeah. Who's arguably the best wide receiver in football. Is and talk be- is, Watson may be out of there. So, who knows, man. It's, it's Tennessee to lose. If you let go Hopkins and Watson, I mean, you who do you blame that on? That's catastrophic, bro. That's O'Brien. That's Bill O'Brien all day. Because something is that's, happening that's, with that dynamic. Because did you hear about what yeah. made, uh, what led to uh, DeAndre leaving? Yeah, the, uh, the uh, Aaron Hernandez comment. Yeah. You can't say that, man. I don't care At who all. you are. You can't say that. Can't and do I don't it. know if it was just a lapse in judgment and he just said the wrong thing, but that, that, type, of, that type of analogy had no place. Nothing. To do you're with talking about, you're talking about hands down your best player on your team. Mm-hmm. Likened his situation to that of Aaron Hernandez. Come on, bro. They're talking about his baby, the amount of baby mothers he has. Yeah, it's like that ain't none of your damn business. None, none at all. That has nothing to do with you. Has it? Has it interrupted practice? Has it interrupted his play on the field? Has it interrupted his mental capacity to be able to go out there and perform? Not at all. None of that. So if I'm Bill O'Brien, I'm going to shut the hell up and let him continue to be the elite number one wide receiver that we need. He literally just broke yeah. up. Yep. And, 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 and you talking about – he's the best wide receiver they've ever had. Franchise history. Yep. Hands down. It's not even close. It's not even close at this point. Well – I don't want to. I don't want to talk too bad um, about Andre Johnson. Andre, yeah, Andre. Andre's Andre is dope, but if he's better if than Andre. Go the way it's going. DeAndre Hopkins is better than Andre Johnson, even though Andre yeah, is. I agree. I agree. He's Hall of Fame worthy, but come on, man. You you talking about letting this cat go in his prime? Are you crazy? We'll see. I, I don't know. You you gotta. Unless you see something out of what's uh what's what's the the other young cat they got the short guy Cootie? I know what you're talking about yeah Cootie something like that Cowdy something. Unless, yeah, unless unless you see something in him, or unless Will Fuller takes a huge step forward, not that no he's route running, no route running skills, man. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I, I think he's a very average route runner. 
He's got he's got very good speed, but he's fragile. Yeah. Has has Will Fuller played sixteen games yet? Not not at all. Not at all. I don't think he's played sixteen games yet. So I, I mean, I don't know, man. I there's uh, that that's a rough one to that's a rough pill to swallow if you're a Texans fan because yeah, you didn't get much in return. I mean, don't I don't want to I don't. They needed a, a – I'm not even going to say they needed a run game. Their run game wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I mean, so – But you, then you get Johnson. Like, David Johnson hasn't done anything, what, three, four years? He can't stay on the so, field. Right. He's another one who's injury prone. I mean, so if you take a – if you look at the difference, David Johnson and Duke Johnson, it's like, okay, yeah, you upgraded, and you got a second-round pick. Unless you – you better absolutely kill this draft. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't nail with this second pick and he comes out to be a stud, then this – I don't even think this draft is receiver heavy either. I don't think so. Not not for the second round. Yeah. It's some good it's, they're all in the some good receivers, but – yeah. But, but I don't know if you're going to find a receiver in the second round. First of all, you're not going to find a receiver – at all in this draft, who's going to be able to replace what DeAndre Hopkins did for you? Not, not in, not in the, um, not in the first year. No. So you talk about cats like, um, like Judy uh, from Alabama, or uh, what's the other cat? Uh, Rugs. Mm-hmm. Henry, Henry Rugs. Those, go, those dudes have the potential to be good. They have the potential to be great. But Hopkins had intangibles, man. He could block, run, block better than any receiver I've seen. Yeah, and he was maybe Larry Fitzgerald. <laughs> okay, Fitzgerald, but that's an old school yeah. cat. He yeah. we was willing to block. Hawkins is yes. willing to block. But premium, we'll see, yep. premium route yep. runner. Some of the best hands in the NFL. He can run the deep route. He can run short routes. Um, he demands a double team, so he helps other players get open. Any route that you run underneath him, you almost guaranteed to get whoever that is running underneath him open because everybody wants to follow him. The attention is on Andre Hopkins. So the fact that you let a guy like this go is is absolutely ridiculous. So Arizona got a steal. And they did. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. <laughs> yeah, Kyler happy. Murray got to be the happiest dude. <laughs> Kyler Murray's still having a good 2020. Every- <laughs> Everybody else is is wondering what the hell is going on in 2020. Not Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray's on top of the world right now. He's thinking like, man, this this might be the best thing that ever happened to him. You know, because he didn't have a bad year. He had a pretty good run. He he came on of late. He came on late. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And and, you know, his his the game started to slow down for him a little bit. Uh, he was so happy to uh, just uh quickly run out of the pocket. He was starting to look downfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, things were in the mesh for him. Um, but I'm definitely interested to see how he's going to look over there uh, in Arizona now that he has a true number one. That's, I agree. That's good luck. That's going to be a good luck for sure. I agree. Well, that's all I got, man. What you got? Yeah. That's that's all I got other than um, the 2K tournament. Oh, the, the NBA players. The NBA players. Is I'm going with Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Bring Let's on the go, chip. Zach. <laughs> Number seven seed. Bring home the chip, man. Let's go, man. Yo, I, I hope he go out there and do his thing. I, That's why the get... NBA gets it right, man. The NBA yeah. gets it. They, kudos to Silva, man. They, they just always yeah. get it, man. They just always get it. Hands down, the best commissioner in all – in all of major sports, I agree. He's doing it better than Adam Silver, and, and a, a lot of cool, a lot of that you have to give to David Stern. David, David Stern was a favorite, but he laid the platform, he laid the blueprint in order for Adam Silver to come in, take the reins, and keep it going. The NBA brand is getting better than ever, and think about how he's dealt with the crisis and, and, and the 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 bad press that has come out. Mm-hmm. So. Obviously, he handled the Kobe thing extremely well. That was and, and the David Stern death. The David Stern death he handled extremely well. Um, the 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 snafu with China in the beginning yeah, of the well, year uh, with the um, with, with, with 
was with Maury and the crazy yeah. stuff I'm just saying. He's still talking crazy, man. She got, Yo. They, they may they may have to um stern I'm stern. Sternly him, man. He's still talking nuts. Yo, they they, they like they mute that man. Like what the hell is going on? Him it's and Nolan like, don't need a franchise. Man, don't man I don't. Franchise. He might be worse than Trump with the way that he just be running around talking. Yeah, it's, I agree. It's like, yo, you got to learn to shut the hell up at this yeah. point. But yeah, man, the two K, uh, the two K tournament, I'm definitely interested in. Um, I, I really want to see how that goes. There's some big names in there, man. Uh, you got Trey Young, you got Katie. Kate, Zach Levine, uh, Devin Booker. Yeah, yeah, Devin Booker. So yeah, you got you got some top notch cats, man. I'm su- yeah. I was surprised. I see De'Aaron Fox name. He's yeah. a big guy. And uh surprised that I didn't see his name. But uh ultimately this is gonna be dope, man. I'm super in the game. It's, it's I, what? Friday. It's Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah man. So I'm I'm definitely tuning into that. With uh with with the lack of entertainment going on around here. <laughs> but you're lucky though, man. You see, you see a, a, a brother like you got something soft next to him. <laughs> Me, I'm sitting up here like Scarface. True. I'm like Scarface. I sit alone in the four quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here, man. I'm just here. Just hey, man, here. You better get you a uh, you better get you a, a friend, boy. Get you a quarantine cutie over there. They can't come over. They can't. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna do with that? <laughs> hey, man, you can wipe her down the alcohol at the door and then hey, you straight. Man. Then you be straight. No, no, no. He said it's too risky. <laughs> too risky. <laughs> you get a FaceTime bang. <laughs> so, so it's over. What, what FaceTime bang. Oh, no. We done. We done. You know, we done. We oh, done. man. It's like, oh, well, you know, whenever they let us come outside, you know what I'm saying? Whenever they let us come outside, you know, I, I, can't, I can't hold nothing. I can't, can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. <laughs> Brother, wake up in the middle of the That's night. Like Alexander O'Neal wanting to hold something. Can't hold nothing. <laughs> Not Alexander oh. O'Neal. Hey. He took it back to the 90s. <laughs> Can't hold nothing. But I'm done, man. You know, this has been the Wrap Up Podcast, man. Follow us on all things social at the Wrap Up Pod. Be sure to check out my man's uh, Casso. That's at Casso. All your sneaker needs. He got all the sizes. Definitely. So you don't have to worry about your size. We may have some merch on the show one day. He may make some um, wrap up podcast merch. You never know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, there you go. Some wrap up podcast merch. You know, that's I always give him ideas. I kind of got to push him a little bit. But you know, that's my man, 50 grand, though. You know, so <laughs> shout out to everybody that's been listening, everybody that's been calling, um, texting me, asking me if we still doing it, what's going on. Uh, being patient and it's just a testament of um those wanting to hear the product of course everybody don't yeah. follow everybody don't like subscribe and all that that's cool but those that really listen out for us they still show love and i appreciate that once again yeah, follow man. us on all things social at the wrap up pod follow caso that's at caso on instagram facebook everything we're everywhere oh, we're everywhere Good looking, man. Till the next one. Hey, hey, and we ain't gonna take another three months off. I Come on! Know. Quarantine day two. We back at it, boy. We back <laughs> at it. Giving you the raw ride. I got a bunch of time on my hands. For real. I get off of work at 4.30. I walk straight down the hall into the studio. <laughs> Nothing else to I'm do. I'm with you, bro. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a wrap. That's all I got, man. Yeah. Peace, peace. Alright, one love, bro. <laughs>